Hello guys, you want to start lecture 27. In this lecture, I want to talk about the period of Fourier series. So in chapter 4, we talk about, we talk about the periodic function. So we said that uh, a periodic function, for a periodic function, so we have fx plus t is equal to fx. And then we call t as period of periodic function. For example, we said sine, if we have sine x, so uh, for sine x, we have sine x plus 2 pi, it's equal to sine x, in fact, fx plus 2 pi, it's equal to fx. As a result, t over t equal to 2 pi its period of function or its period of sine x so when we have t equal to 2 pi is a period so we can say t equal to 4 pi is a period as well why because sine x plus 4 pi it's equal sine x as well so in fact sine equals to uh, t equals to 2 pi t equal to 4 pi t equal to 8 pi uh, 6 pi 8 pi and so on they are all period of this function we call the smallest period of a uh, the smallest period of a function as fundamental period so the smallest period of a function It's fundamental period. For example, for the case of sine x, t equal to 2 pi, it's fundamental period. Then, any point, uh, positive integer multiple of a period is also a period. So, any positive integer multiple of fundamental period is also a period for example for the case of sine x so we said that t equal to 2 pi is fundamental period so t equal to 4 pi is a period t equal to 6 pi is a period and so on any positive integer multiple of fundamental period is a period as well so now let's you know we have another function let's say we have fx is equal to sine x over 2 we want to find period of this function so if you want to find period of this function so we say sine x over 2 plus 2 pi it's equal to sine x over 2 if I factor x over 2, sorry, if I factor half, so we have x plus 4 pi, it's equal to sine x over 2. As a result, in this case, fx plus t is equal to fx plus 4 pi. So it means that period of function or fundamental period of function is 4 pi. Now imagine I have another function. Uh, we have a function like fx is equal to sine x plus sine 
x squared. So it's a harmonic function. I want to find period of this function. So period of sine x we already found it is equal to 2 pi. Period of sine x over 2 we found it is equal to 4 pi. So what's the period of fx? In fact, fx has two components, two functions. fx uh, is equal to sine x plus sine x over 2. The first one, sine x, the period is 2 pi. The second one is 4 pi. We already said that if we, here we have the fundamental period of a function. But you know, any positive integer multiple of fundamental period is a, a period of function as well. As a result, for sine x, t equal to 4 pi is a period as well. So now we have t equal to 4 pi for the first function, sine x. And for the second function, sine x over 2, we have t is equal to 4 pi. As a result, you can say that the period of period of fx is equal to uh, 4 pi. It's the fundamental period of fx. Or for example, we have fx is equal to sine 2x plus sine 3x. We want to find period of this function. At first, I find period of sine 2x. So for sine 2x, so sine 2x is equal to sine 2x plus 2 pi. So you have it's sine 2x plus 2 pi. It's equal to if I factor 2, so I have x plus pi. It's equal to a sine x. Sorry, it's equal to sine 2x. In fact, fx plus t, it's equal to fx. As a result, t is equal to pi. The period of sine 2x is pi. Now we have to find period of sine 3x. So we have sine 3x plus 2 pi. It's equal to uh, sine 3x. If I just factor 3, so we have x plus 2 pi over 3. It's equal to sine 3x. In fact, fx plus t capital is equal to fx. So here t is equal to 2 pi over 3. For sine 3x, the period is 2 pi over 3. So now what's the period of fx? So it has two functions. For sine 2x, we have t equal to pi. For sine 3x, we have 2 pi over 3. So we said they are fundamental frequency, it's fundamental period. As a result, any multiple of fundamental period is also a, a period. So for the first one, we have t is equal to pi. As a result, t can be 2 pi, t can be 3 pi, t can be 4 pi, and so on. For the second one, any multiple, any a positive integer multiple it's period as well so we have 2 pi over 3 times 2 is going to be 4 pi over 3 6 pi over 3 which is equal to 2 pi and so on now i have to find the smallest common period between uh, two periods of functions so in the first in the second one so we have Oops. We have t equal to 2 pi. Here we have t equal to 2 pi. So they are in common. As a result, period of fx is 2 pi. So we could find period of this function as well. Now let's talk about Fourier series. So for Fourier series, we said if we have one arbitrary function, so we can represent it using a0 divided by 2, summation of an cosine 
n pi over px plus summation of bn sine n pi over px so n is from 1 to infinity here n is from 1 to infinity so it's equal to a0 divided by 2 plus a1 cosine I'm just expanding the term so pi over p x plus b1 sine pi over p x plus a2 cosine 2 pi over p x plus b2 sine 2 pi over p x plus and so on so plus a n cosine n pi over p x plus b n sine n pi over p x uh, now for each function i have to find the period so at first we have a constant function so we don't need to find the period so the second one we have cosine pi over px i want to find period of cosine pi over px so we have cosine pi over px plus 2 pi it's equal to cosine pi over is pi over px uh, if I just factor pi over p, we have x plus 2p is equal to cosine pi over px. In fact, fx plus t is equal to fx. So it means that t is equal to 2p. So, in fact, for this term, the period is equal to 2p. For this term, the same, t is equal to 2p. For this term, we can have the same process. We can see that period is equal to 2p over 2. For this case, period is equal to, for this function, 2p over 2. And so on. For this function, period is equal to 2p over n and here is 2p over n so here you have 2p here you have 2p over 2 so it's gonna be uh, it's the period is gonna be equal to p but we said any positive integer multiple of a period is also a period as a result, for this function, for the second one, t, is, t equal to 2p is a period as well, and so on. For example, for this function, so the fundamental period is 2p over n, but any positive integer multiple is also a period if I multiply it by n. So we have t equal to 2p is period of this function as well. So we can see that t equal to 2p is common between all the functions in the Fourier series. So we can say that the, uh, the period of a Fourier series uh, defined on the range of minus p to p is equal to 2p. So we can say that the fundamental period of Fourier series on the range of minus p to p is t equal to 2p. So we could find period of Fourier series. 